Okay, I'm gonna show you how to um, map out and lay out your, um, your sprinkler system. So let's say this is your house over here and this will be a walkway to like a driveway. Okay, and this will be the driveway right here. And um, basically this will be all grass right here. And let's say there's a little planter area right here. So this will be bushes. Okay. And um, let's say your front manifold, like you have a hose bib right here for water. So let's say uh, this is where you're going to have your anti-siphon valves. So your sprinkler system is going to be set up right here. And, um, you know, you're going to have a few of them right here. And then you can have your lines running here probably underneath this walkway and um, basically what you don't want to do um, is branch it off like a like a like a tree so let's say you're gonna have a sprinkler over here um, so this will be one sprinkler and then another sprinkler you know, over here, and then uh, you're gonna need one in the middle, and then another one over here, and then you're gonna need one over here. This is what you don't wanna do. You don't want to um, branch too much off of, of it. You want more um, direct lines so I'm gonna show you the way you wanna do it. Let me uh, erase some of this here. So let's say, let's say you come out underneath this concrete here and you have one sprinkler here and then the line will keep on running and then you put one sprinkler here Keep on going another sprinkler and it's recommended to have it about five feet apart from each sprinkler um, you know so that you get good coverage um, and you normally don't want to have really more than about seven sprinklers on each line so right here we have one, two, three, four, five, let's say six and seven. So that would be one line and then it just ends on this one. Okay. And then your next sprinkler line will go underneath and this will be on its own timer. So this, this one would turn on after this line turns off, then the next one would come on, right? And so let's just say it comes underneath there. Let's just say it goes straight. That would be a good path for it. And then it makes a turn, hits the middle. Then you have a 360 sprinkler maybe right there. And then it'll come on over. And finish up right here. Now, in this first area here, you might just want to have, um, you know, depending how many feet across this is from here to here, you know, um, you might need four sprinklers or three or however many, right? Um, kind of mapping this out pretty quick, but to match this side, ideally maybe have this one continue on over and one more sprinkler right here and then this one would be the last one over here actually not the last one we'll come up with it right here another one right here and then I'll keep on going 
we have another one over here. Well, probably over here more in the corner. Just get the idea. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we definitely can add another sprinkler, let's say right here, and that'll be the last one. Now, um, you're gonna have to water these bushes, right? This planter area. So let's say this last third sprinkler manifold, this line will go over here and we'll have one uh, like bubbler sprinkler or something right there one right here and one over here you know however you want to lay that out depending on how your trees or bushes are and plants in the planter area but that should give you an idea of how to lay it out and the point of this is that you want to have um, you know that you don't want to branch off of your your lines you want them to just be dedicated lines until the end um, so hopefully that helps All right, another thing you can do if um, it's a smaller yard area, like maybe a 20 by 20 area, then um, you can do it off of just one line. Um, let's say you're going underneath here and your first sprinkler is right here. Second sprinkler. third sprinkler, fourth sprinkler, fifth sprinkler, sixth sprinkler, seventh, eighth, ninth. And this one will be a 360, so this one's spraying all the way around. These ones will just be 180s. This would be just a 90 degree one. This would be a 180. This would be a 90 degree one. So this would be a 90 degree. A 180, degree, um, and so on and so forth. And then, um, you know, and then you can have another one here for your planners. We'll come underneath and then one here, one here one here and um, you should be able to pull off you know nine sprinklers depending on your water pressure but definitely wouldn't want to go too many more than that if possible